Hi, I'm Marie Elchin from Fleischer Art Memorial, and today we're going to learn how to make paper beads. To get started, it helps to have some colorful or patterned paper. Do you have a favorite pattern type? Fill a whole page with a multicolored pattern. Sanai Kateja is known as the bead king of Uganda. He makes jewelry, sculpture, and even tapestries using beads from recycled paper. Making paper beads is a really great way to upcycle everyday materials. To make paper beads, you need to first measure each end of your paper in half inch marks. Connect the marks to create a zigzag across your paper and cut along the lines you should end up with paper triangles. Use a pencil to roll your paper triangle, starting at the wide end of the triangle. Glue the tip of the triangle down and hold it there for a moment to keep the bead rolled tightly. Slide it off the pencil and continue rolling all of your paper strips into beads. Thread a lacing needle with an arm's length of embroidery floss or yarn and then string your beads. You could either tie the ends together to create a bracelet or a necklace, or you could try stringing beads and looping back through them to create sculptural forms. I'm going to do the measuring on the back of my decorative paper so that my lines don't show after I cut it out. So across the top, every half inch, I'm going to put a mark. I'm going to flip the paper around and do the same thing on the other side. Half inch marks. Now I want to zigzag across the paper. So instead of lining up the ones that are parallel, I'm going to start with my first one on one side and then move down to the second mark on the other side to start the zigzag. Hold it on the right. Skip one mark and go to the next mark. Hold it on the left, skip one mark and go to the next one. Hold it on the right, skip one mark, go to the next one. You can see this zigzag is happening. Okay, now all I have to do is cut them apart. You probably won't use the two end pieces. Now my paper strips are ready to roll. Have your glue bottle handy and a pencil or a pen. Start with the wide end and carefully and tightly roll on when you reach the end and the last inch a little bit of glue on the end roll it on and hold it there for a moment until the glue has a chance to dry a little bit and slide it off there's your first bead. Keep going until you have all of your triangles rolled on. When your beads are finished, cut yourself an arm's length of thread, and it might be helpful to use a lacing needle. Thread your needle and then use that to help string on your beads. And that's plenty for a bracelet, an anklet, or even a necklace. You can also try stringing back through your beads. So I'm gonna tie this last one on so it doesn't fall off the end. 
I'm going to go through the end of the next kind of looping back like a figure eight through the beads. Off and make a great bracelet. Just tie that in. What creative thing can you make with your beads? See you next time. <laughs>